uh, your team are you right now? I was proud just a couple days ago against Northeastern. I'm like uh, obviously super proud. Um, just keep getting, can you get more prouder? <laughs> I wasn't English shot major, so it's probably not the right verbiage. No but, pun on um, the pride. Yeah. yeah, right, right. There oh, you wow. go. Hey. Um, no, very proud. Very proud. It's always to say. Uh, I guess I called it a fun battle because we won it tonight, but it's always just a battle. I mean, Denise and I were talking about it before the game, and then as the game was, uh, you know, playing through, it's, it's always a crazy battle here at the deck. Uh, Coach, <laughs> I would like to say Ashton and Durant grew up tonight, but it seems like she's been growing up all season. Ah, uh, yeah, this was a, a huge one for her. I think she, uh, actually, she takes notes. I mean, she takes notes to the physicality that she has to play at this level. Um, you know, I, I told you she's a gamer in that, you know, and she normally takes notes like throughout the game and I think she had a little bit of a hit there that she knew she had to bounce back and holy cow, she had no idea. Uh, we obviously talked about it in the locker room and we said, you know, he had 12 rebounds and then like, and they had 17 and everybody just blew up. And then they're like, they're like, how many points did she have, coach? And I said 21 yeah. and the whole locker room just blew up. So great sense of pride amongst the team with each other when you have success. And, you know, you guys always ask the question, who scored the most points, but, you know, it's, it's either Asia's tip at the end it's uh, Sid's 10 minutes back in the lineup to be physical and to rebound for us. It's DTP, even if it's a short amount of minute, because she really technically wasn't supposed to even play tonight, um, who makes it and holds the fort down while we're struggling inside and getting a lot of fouls. Like, like you know, I always say that, but that's the difference in the game. Um, Darius Falk, uh, wow. I don't even think 24 made a three. If she uh, did make one, nope. yeah. She, uh, she smothered her like, like ketchup and mustard on her. Hot dog. She uh, she killed it. So just really proud of her. You can laugh. That was, no, no, no. That was my next, I was actually I'm only laughing yeah. because that was my next question. Yeah. Down the stretch, yeah. Darius' defense was yeah. just out of this world. It was phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. And and then Kelly, I just kept telling her shooters shooters always uh, keep shooting. Um, but then you got to talk about how the game started. It was a, just a great inside game between me and and Nay from the start of the game. We were like kind of getting what we wanted inside, and then uh, but you know shooters just keep shooting. I'm proud of Kelly because that's the maturity that she's showing. You know that she needs to be out there and if that shot's not going down because she plays good defense, she's smart, she knows the plays that they're running and how to direct the team on the floor with Crystal and uh, you know, crazy fifth overtime. It's insane. And how about just, I mean, I asked you guys this the other day, but to have a, now a second straight overtime uh -huh. conference play in the first three games, I mean, what yeah. does that do, not even just for the coaching staff, having trust in your place, but for right. the team's mindset and their chemistry to know that they can beat and they're going to see oh, yeah. these teams again Certainly. down the stretch to, to know that they can win in these types of situations. Yeah, I mean, it, obviously it's, just, it's that growth. You know, Denise, even before the game, said, you're killing me, your team is awesome, and they're, and they're sophomores and, and, and freshmen. That's, that's what she said to me at the start of the game, and I'm like, yeah, I know. I said, I, I really get, I get cold chills when they make the announcement at home when they tell them what year they are. Um, a moment away. So, um, but the time is now, and I think that's that's why this group is, is just smart. They seize the moment. They live in the present. It doesn't matter what age they are, and they're living in the present. And uh, you know, we, we got one today. So, you know, we got to go back to the drawing board. And, and we saw some places where we had it. How did we lose it? You know, we've done that in both of those games in Northeastern when we were stretching away. But you know, good teams aren't going to let you just bury them. So, I think these are the lessons that we can even hold on even when we have a chance to stretch it out. Um, and a team comes back and survived that run and then pulled out. So. Just really proud of the group. Coach, you know a team like this, how do you keep the highs from ever being too high and the lows being never too low? Well, if you came in our locker room, you would see that we're not too high. Yeah. I think they do it. Like, sometimes it's a little eerie for me because, you know, I'm pretty high intense and, um, you know, but I, you know, I'm telling them slow and steady, but sometimes I want to make sure they have a pulse. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's an interesting balance as we kind of do things to, to help, you know, figure out what kind of team this is and, like, what pushes their buttons. But the competitors and they're ready. You know, they don't have to give you fake cheers. They don't have to give you who can scream the loudest for the game to start. But you know, we do have to, you know, continue, you know, defining who we are as we as we go forward. So, I like Ricky Bobby with my hands together. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the mindset going into the Towson game now on Sunday, at two o'clock tip off? What's Have the, enough uh, legs to get through the forty, <laughs> hopefully forty minutes. I mean, at least again, at least everybody's on the same playing field. Because I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I felt like that tonight with both teams. The shots that they were missing, the shots that we were missing, had everything to do with the legs. You know, both of us were at least, again, at least we were on the same plane, and that's how I felt tonight's game was just a battle of gut. Um, because, everybody, this is an interesting start to our conference. It's kind of weird. You're out of the gate, you know, boom, boom. And I obviously went out in the Ivy League. They have to play Friday, Sundays all the time, sometimes Friday, Saturdays in the Ivy League. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it, you know, because your bodies just break down. We even have depth. Especially two overtime games in a row. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're adding an extra 10 minutes on that. So. So. <laughs>